The sky is bright blue and I stand under the gentle giants watching the rainbow lorikeets play, chatter and preen themselves. Meanwhile, the magpies enjoy a morning snack. There is not a moment's silence today. I am surrounded by a symphony of sound. And while I don't understand what the birds are communicating, their song uplifts me. Biologists tell us that birds sing not only to attract mates and to mark territory, but because they love to sing. It makes them happy. And just like my feathery friends, I love to sing. And as I say goodbye to the gentle giants for the day, I take away a reminder to sing a line or two and it does not matter a jot if I sing off key. Do you love music, Wonder Weavers? If so, what is your favourite song? I'd love you to share with me in the comments below. Hello Wonder Weavers, I hope that you've had a delightful week. This week I have been thinking a lot about play and have been making some miniature versions of popular Victorian toys for Miss Cordelia of course. And while creating I've been thinking about the things I used to love doing as a child and one of those was building with Lego. I used to love sitting on the lounge room floor building houses with my brother. So I'm curious, Wonder Weavers, what was your favourite toy or activity as a child? I'd love you to share. And I just want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to you and especially those of you who have replied to my blog about blooming later in life. You have given me a beautiful gift. You've reminded me that I'm not alone. And right now I am going through a growth spurt and I'm at times feeling very uncomfortable with some of the changes that are taking place in my world. But I'm walking forward with more confidence because I know that uh, I have support and I know that I'm not alone and that uh, I have a beautiful community to share my journey with. And so thank you so very much. You're inspiring me and I'm truly grateful for your presence in my world. So let's play. Let's make some miniature toys. Miss Cordelia tells me that she's bored and while she has a piano to play, books to read and a paper theatre to tell stories with, I've decided to make her some more toys. I first google the most popular toys during the Victorian era. I choose a couple including the Zoetrophe. The Zoetrophe is an optical toy. It's a cylindrical object with figures on the inside. These are viewed through slits in the cylinder itself. 
and as you rotate the cylinder, it appears as if all of the figures are one single animated one. I'm going to start with the stand. So I cut out a circle from balsa wood and sand it. Next I take a one centimeter length of dowel rod. And with my utility knife, I carve it, thinning one end of the rod. I then sand the rod and glue it to the disc. Next I work on the cylinder. First I cut out its base. I draw a small circle with a compass on the back of an art pad. You could also use cardboard or heavy cardstock. I cut the circle out and then in the centre of the disc I drill a hole with my awl. Next I cut out a strip of black cardstock. I then curl the paper around the base to make sure it's the correct length. Next with a white gel pen, I mark out the slits. They're about half a centimetre apart and there are 11 in total. Next, using the lines as a guide, I cut the slits out. To decorate the cylinder, I'm going to cut a strip from this William Morris design. I then glue the strip to the black card stock with matte medium. I apply a layer over the top as well to seal the surface. Next I paint with gesso the base and the stand brown with watered down acrylic paint. I then glue an earring post to the stand. and trim the post. Then I place the cylinder onto the post and glue a small crystal bead onto the post. Now it's time to add the strip of figures. There are Victorian strips available on Wikicommons. This one was made available by the Auckland Museum. Using Adobe Illustrator I reduce the image to what I think is around 1 to 12 in scale. Once I print it out I realise it's a little bit long. I also create a strip 
with a marker. The red dots represent a ball. So there you go, Wonder Weavers. Miss Cordelia now has a zoetrope. The kaleidoscope was another popular toy during the Victorian era and I thought I might have a go at making one. To make this toy I used black cardstock again and jewellery findings and a crystal bead. For the kaleidoscope's body I cut a 2 by 3 centimetre strip of black cardstock. Then from two corners I cut diagonally forming a trapezium. I roll the paper and then on the larger end I glue a large jewellery ring. I also glue down the edges of the paper with PVA glue. I then dab some multi-purpose glue on the inside. I then push a small crystal bead into the kaleidoscope's body, positioning it in place with the help of my awl. Finally I create the viewfinder. I glue a gold jump ring to the opposite end of the kaleidoscope's body and trim any excess cardstock and then glue a small piece of acetate sheet to the end of the kaleidoscope. I make two more toys for Cordelia. A skipping rope with embroidery thread and wooden beads and a small marble set. The marbles are simply beads including gemstone rounds Now hopefully these toys will keep Cordelia occupied for a long time. I hope you enjoyed this week's Vlog Wonder Weavers. Take care, stay well, and don't forget to play. Adios. Ciao. 
Oh goodness, the parlor is a mess. There are toys everywhere. And Miss Cordelia is nowhere in sight. Muffin, have you seen Cordelia? No? <clears throat> okay. 